This is Brian Bertrand, Ronan CEO, welcoming all our customers to 2023. I wanted to take this opportunity to walk our customers through some of our changes and the new products that are available for the 2023 calendar year, specifically on our power to sender lines. Uh, to my right, to my left, we have four ascenders available this year um, for our customers. Each one's going to serve a little bit different uh, need within the marketplace and we're going to talk about each of these ascenders in detail and show some of their capabilities. Uh, but to my right we have the Ronin Lift which everyone is very familiar with today. We have our material hauler. We have our smaller units which are the Ronin TL and STL. And our goal at Ronin has always been to make the most accessible power ascenders in the marketplace and part of this is uh, decreasing the size of this technology, making it more portable, as well as making it affordable. So I wanted to start off and cover some of the changes that's occurring in the traditional Ronin Lift product line. Uh, one being some of the changes that we're introducing to the Ronin product line. One being we've added a steel inlet bollard and a steel exit bollard. These are all both to help with wear characteristics on the device, um, especially if you're working different pitches of rope to keep the housing from wearing down from rope wear. We've also changed some of the internals on the inside to stainless steel to help improve better wear and longevity of internal components. Uh, the last change that you'll expect to see in the large unit on the Ronin Lift is we now have a thumb wheel that is a full stroke thumb wheel just to add better uh, fidelity of control for the variable speed uh, within the device. Now a big difference obviously with the one on the left is, a, is it's white and what we're doing trying to do is support uh, the industry's need to separate material hauling um, from personal ascension. So the Ronin lift can be used for both uh, lifting material as well as people but what we want to try to do is avoid uh, putting people on the same unit that you're lifting material on. So what we're doing to help support that is have a color coding system to differentiate material hauling equipment from personal ascension equipment. And we've also changed some of the nomenclature on the ID plates to support that. So an ASS and E standard on the white unit compared to the standards that we call out on the Ronin to really kind of separate these two as one from a material hauler um, from a personal ascender. So now I wanted to cover our newest product lines, which are the Ronin TL and the Ronin STL. Right off the bat, you can notice this is a much smaller product than the Ronin Lift, even though they operate fairly the same. But with the Ronin TL, you're looking at a device together that comes in at around 19 pounds when the Ronin's 26 pounds. And when compared to other ascenders in the marketplace that are around 31 pounds, this also represents about half the weight of anything else that is available. Uh, you're still going to be able to get 400 pound safe working load out of this device and you're going to have an ascension at one and a half feet per second. The battery is different in the sense that we're now moving to a 48 volt system with the smaller units. This newer battery will include the nylon tethering strap, an emergency stop button to kill power, as well as a battery indicator light to check the battery power of the batteries when they're not attached to the unit. The Ronin STL to my left uh, is visually the same weight and size as the TL, but it has a much higher speed. So you're looking at a device that can do ascension at two and a half feet per second and descent at four and a half feet per second at 350 pounds. This makes this the smallest, lightest, fastest ascender available in the marketplace and should really be uh, differential in changing the way ascension is done for tactical and emergency response operations.